Phil Walsh's son has been transferred to a maximum security mental health facility after being charged with murder. It comes amid an outpouring of grief around the country following the AFL coach's death. The people of Adelaide have continued to congregate outside the Adelaide Crows headquarters to pay their respects to Phil Walsh. The entrance to the club is lined with tokens of grief and support, flowers, scarves and hats and pictures drawn by young AFL fans. The Adelaide Crows coach was found stabbed to death in the family home early on Friday morning with police charging his 26-year-old son, Cy Jacob Walsh, with murder. Cy Walsh was transferred from the psychiatric ward of Flinders Medical Centre to a maximum security mental health facility overnight. His lawyer appeared in an Adelaide court late Friday afternoon, making no application for bail. The 26-year-old was remanded in police custody until his next court appearance in September. At the centre of the public's grief has been concern for Phil Walsh's family, struggling with a great loss. In a sign of respect to the coach, the wider AFL community has staged several tributes. Yeah, look, I've just been overwhelmed, really, and uh, firstly appreciative, um, and then secondly overwhelmed. And, and I think even last night, you know, the tribute that was provided by the Collingwood and the Hawthorne football clubs um, by you know, linking arms post-match and uh, you know, forming that circle in the, in the middle of the ground was, was truly touching and I'm sure it brought a tear to more than just my eye. The Adelaide Crows were next scheduled to play against Geelong on Sunday but the AFL has decided to cancel that match out of respect to Phil Walsh's loved ones and in respect to the grief of the players. Trish Sunga, Sky News, Adelaide.